Hello and welcome back to Pyre. Last time we sent Hedwin back to the Commonwealth and a new cycle begins and if everything's saved... Yes, if everything's saved and apparently it did, we're about to fa uh, face the Fate. Um, which is basically my favorite team outside of the uh, Nightwings that, you know, our um, version of the Nightwings. What's that? The hidden glade of Lu is nigh impossible to find on foot, though there it lies below us, protected even now by the enchantment of Lu's glory and hundred mines. I understand the river named for him is rather famous in the Commonwealth. The mouth of that river's glorian opens wide, not very far from here. It was there that Limbless Arisech was defeated, re uh, turning the region lush and livable, at least for certain denizens, although, of course, not everyone believed this. Your adversaries, the fate, must be working to find their way there, even now. Good fortune in your right against them, reader. Okay, there's another thing we can learn here. As the wagon soars across uh, the skies above Waking Wood, you notice Wolfred appears lost in thought. You cannot sense straight away what he is thinking. Do not mind me, reader. It is simply that being here in this vicinity, it brings back a lot of memories and gives me much to ponder. I hid within these woods for many, many years, making preparations for a plan. I cast aside my raiments and became untraceable. There I waited for the plan to germinate, so it means a lot now to be here above the place at last. It's not a tamuje. Quite the few, wouldn't you say, my boy? Sure is. So Needlefield, uh, a small clearing east of the Glade of Lou, Walfred believes this should be be an expedient path to the Glade of Lou and Cinderroot, um, a hushed clearing south of the Glade of Lou. Falcon Run may be passing through here with a special offer. Now let's go Needlefield. I don't really need anything from the slug market. I never have a lot of money on me. All right, nothing in the car. That's fine. Let's check with uh, Wolfred. As you look about the thick underbrush stretching in every direction, Wolfred approaches and asks a moment of your time. As we are unpacking the wagon, I happen to find something of note. Let's throw it in uh, with the rest of the cargo, shall we? He hands you the item that he found and encourages you to take the rest of the day to rest and pursue your, uh, your vocations. Molten glass, it should fetch some soul, okay. Sellable item. 74, that's pretty good. Let's stash it away. And should we just train someone up? Yeah, I think so. I mean, maybe Pamitha? Wait a second, I'm gonna have to cut that out. Uh, Why certainly, Rita, darling. How good for y how good of you to ask. You and Pamitha go over what you know of the celestial landmarks you have been to and how their pro uh, how their properties impact the Nightwings in the rites. You can tell she knows many of them well by now. I spent my life among the mountains. These places all felt very new to me at first. All right, vocations done. Let's continue on our journey to the Glade of Lou. Uh, one of the downsides, celestial landmarks. Yes, Dalbert and the Fate. Stop the wagon, now. The black wagon has uh, shuddered to a stop uh, uh, en route to the Glade of Lou. 
there is some commotion as Wolfred motions for everyone to be still. There, ahead. It seems we have a visitor. He points into the distance. However, when you scan the horizon, everything is still. You see no sign of whomever Wolfred referred to. Still, he indicates caution. I am certain that I saw someone directly in the road. A tense moment passes, then another. Then Wolfred tenses up. There he is. Look, there. You look towards uh, where he signals and then, at last, you see the cause of his concern. There is no mistaking who it is. Ah, okay. Orlek stands there, near motionless, atop some forgotten rock jutting from the razor brambles a fair distance away. He stands directly on the path of your black wagon. Yet he shows no sign of acknowledging the wagon's presence. He appears only to be waiting for something. Likely for you all. Wolfred gets your, uh, gets your attention, quietly. Well, my boy, I'm open to suggestions here. Oralek likely hasn't come to pay a social visit. Um, press forward. Uh, turn back. Or hail him over. What should we do here? Um, I think that's the most interesting option, but is it a good option? I don't think it is. Um, you know what? Let's call him over. Might be a mistake, but maybe we get some good dialogue out of it. There has to be a way to reason with Oralek and bridge differences between him and his former triumvirate. Perhaps he has come to, ne uh, to negotiate. I am uncertain Oralek is willing to be reasonable at this point, after everything he has been through, though I am hopeful you are right. You give the signal for the drive imps to start the wagon and head towards him. But just as you reach the point where Oralek once stood, he has vanished. So surveying our strength perhaps, his motives are plain, but his intentions unclear. Indeed, Oralek is nowhere to be found now. The unnerving encounter causes everyone to fall silent for the remainder of this trip. Your wagon finally arrives at the Glade of Lou, where still there is no sign of Oralek or your next adversaries for that matter. Your companions organize a quick search about the premises, uh, leaving you to watch the wagon until the right commen uh, commencement. Ah. There it is, the slug market. I'll talk in the um, black wagon in a second. Hey guys, come in. Say, now, whatever happened to that smiley headwind guy? Did you really get out of... Uh, did he really get out of here like, I'm being he like I've been hearing or, or what? Yes, yes he has. Ooh, what's this? Typhoon bottle. While the bearer's triumvirate is banished, adversaries are slowed and cannot use abilities. Interesting, but way more expensive than we can afford. Let's sell the glass for now. Yes, and uh, let's see, anything else we want? Flame leech. After dousing adversary's pyre, uh, the bearer's pyre recovers uh, flame equal to up to 50% of the damage dealt. Sounds very good, not enough money. Um, right. Those also look good, but we cannot afford them. Not quite. That's n That does not have a lot of sell value. I don't fling it a lot. Um, burning promise after dousing the adversary's pyre. The bearer earns a reward of... Uh, a reward up to three times. <sighs> nah, it's good. All Thank you. you. Time, Pleasure sir. doing business with you. So, uh... All right, who has something to say here? Something is wrong, Some th someone is here, alone, with you. Ah, there he is. Hello, Oralek. Oralek seems to be examining various objects in the wagon. Whether he has noticed you, you cannot tell. Uh, what he is doing here and how he got in unnoticed, you cannot imagine. You watch him go about whatever he is doing, examining all sorts of things that you and your fo fellow exiles gathered on your journey. He shakes his head. All of these drinkards. 
this wagon. It is, it is most different now. Welcoming, and yet, I am unwelcome here, it seems. Well, all the, all the animosity is from your side. We didn't do anything to you, okay? You brought the animosity here, not us. In my own wagon. He directs his gaze at you, acknowledging your presence for the first time. You, a mere shadow. Tell me something. Who are you to them? Uh, the reader, friend, no one. Will he resp- Yeah. He may as well know the truth of it. You sense no reason to mislead him. It's become more than just the role and the right. I'm gonna go with that. I don't care. <laughs> You tell Oralek that you have traveled all across the downside with this group and count them as your trusted friends. It is a different group now than in his day. A friend, is it? Beware then, for the Nightwings do not always treat their friends with all due charity. Relay to them a message from me, Shadow. Tell them I shall have my knight. He strides right past you towards the door, but then he turns to you again once more. I shall have my knight. Then Oralek is gone. Alright. Do we have here something sparkling? Okay, can't open it right now. That's fine. Um, several of your companions return. As you exit the wagon, you explain what happened. However, none of them saw Oralek. I believe you, my boy. Or, like, he... he is unwell. It is good you did not come to harm. Now, let's make sure the same can be said of the wagon. Uh, you and the others conduct an exhaustive search in and around the black wagon for any signs of objects missing or tampered with, as well as signs of damage or foul play. The search yields nothing. No one finds any sign of anything no one finds any sign that anything was moved or tampered with. Even the drive, uh, the drive imps seem calm. The incident leaves you questioning your own recollection of what happened. You try to clear your mind, for the right is, uh, is soon now to commence. Right. Let's commence the right then. Man, Oralek's voice really did a number on my throat. I'm gonna tell you that one, that one for free. Uh, once more you have returned to the Glade of Lu. And your companions stand ready beneath the uh, beneath a still night sky, awaiting the commencement of the rites. You overhear some of the some of their words to one another as you wait the signal as you await the signal in the stars. Almost time to get to work on the fate, I suppose. Lower thy voice and raise thine eyes aloft. Just then, you observe a glint of starlight that begins to shine above. And your companions soon fall silent. Alright, there it is. Let's um <coughs> let's proceed to the right. Now let's see, do they have anything to say to us beforehand? Infamous reader returns, along with his remaining retinue of miscreants. You managed recently to rid yourself of yet another one. Your adversaries, the fate. As with you, they must be very desperate for their freedom. They shall not make it any easier from here. There we go. <clears throat> Greetings once again, O Nightwings. We took to heart our painful loss to you last time, yet perhaps the outcome shall be different this time. Stand ready, Alma. Yes, father. We shall give them our very best. The fate. Let us show them what the Nightwings can do. Nothing to say about uh, Ray being gone? That's a shame. Who shall besmirch Rookie. the Nightwing's name? Yes, yes, yes. Rookie has to join. Rookie. And then our next team 
I suppose is with Admilvi and Batrude. Uh, Bertrude, not Admilvi, my bad. I always mess that up for some reason. Maybe Pamitha? Sure, let's give that a shot. Oh, I'm ready for them. Let us stand together now, my son. Always, father, I'm ready. Let's go then. Now begin. There we go. Yes. <laughs> ah, I messed that one up. Ah. Mm, okay, I meant I messed that one up big time, okay? Yeah, you're fast, you're fast, I know. Okay, okay. Luckily we have a buffer here. Ah Okay. Oh my god. No, just just not just too late. Just barely too late. All my banished. Ah. He has lucky break as well, huh? And there we go. Very good, very good. It's encouraging that, that the one I'm uh, intending to free is the one who's, you know, getting a lot done right now. Ah, I dropped it. Mm. Oh my god, I completely managed to mess that one up. No, 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 no. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Well done, Dolbert. Well done. And there we go. <laughs> Old reliable rookie. Impressively conducted to this point, O oh Nightwings. Yet while our pyre burns, we uh, still shall strive. Oh, I... I didn't mean to pick it up already. Oh my god. Right into a corner there. No! Your exiles all are banished. Please, please, please. Oh, just managed to do it. Oh, very good, very good. Now just one more, uh, one more hit. Ah, out of stamina, out of... Come on, Pamitha, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. There we go. It is done. Couldn't have said it better myself. The Nightwings prevail. Yeah, yeah, I know, voice. I know you don't the like me. Is complete. Alas, that the scribes did not heed our prayers this night. Come, Al come, Alma. Uh, we, uh, when we are needed here no longer. Bask now in the wisdom of the scribes. And Pamitha gains Even a rank. A traitor harp like Pamitha can learn good, a, uh, a time as good a time as any to say thanks for having me along on this strange little journey of yours, reader darling. Okay, now what skills can we get? Uh, winged Fury for five seconds after banishing an adversary. Pamitha moves thirty percent faster than usual. Uh, we could get. Um, Slight of wing. After saluting her adversaries, Pamitha instantly switches places with her nearest ally. Um, Pamitha permanently gains plus eight quickness, making her move much faster. Okay, so that's a better version of that, if I'm being honest. Plus eight quickness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that seems like the obvious choice to me. 
Very good. I eagerly await our next to such outing. I sure hope you do. Chomyo Valley is an arid region filled with sand dunes and fossilized remains of Titans long... Gone, maybe? Didn't catch it in time. Who wants to talk? Everybody. Uh, nearly everybody. Everyone except for Sir Gilman and Wolfred. Uh, back at the Black Wagon you find the lone minstrel examining your fellow exiles after they secured victory over the fate with ease. Oh yeah, it's the minstrel team that I used, of course. It is plain to you that none of them look well. The lone minstrel notices you there and turns to you. Rita, the faster turning of the cycle of the rites has put a strain on everyone. Uh, we have multiple cases of banishment sick uh, sickness this time. It is fortunate that your other companions are available to conduct the coming rite, because I fear that this group here requi uh, requires rest. Oh no, Rookie. You bid Rookie a swift recovery and he nods weakly in response. You exchange a look with Pamitha, who seems exhausted after the last ride. As for Bertrude, it is clear to you she wishes to be left alone right now. You leave the lone minstrel to look after them and turn your attention to the stars that remain shining in the dark outside. So next one is gonna be a B-team, huh? Rookie and Pamitha. Okay, at least I have Bertrude. Um, so Gilman I need to get better at using and... Whew, last time I used Wolfred, that didn't go well, so let's see how it goes. Let's look at the stars. Maybe a nice and easy enemy this time around? Haub, Kaelma, Milith. Okay, Kaelma against the Chastity, Milith against the Dissidents, and Haub against the uh, the Pyrehearts. We have faced the uh, the Dissidents only one time. Uh, last time we tried to face them, it was instead the uh, the Nightwings of old. So let's write that wrong and take a uh, and, and face the um, dissidents again. But first, a look at uh, Wolfred's planner. Oh, the dissidents are now uh, the highest ranked ones. Okay, sure. Let's take a look. Let's see how they do. The stars reveal to you a path towards the pit of Milith, where the rites shall soon continue. Come morning, your travels shall continue. For now, everyone needs rest. Let's see, who wants to talk? Rookie. You thought Rookie was trying to get your attention, but soon realizes attention is fixed on somebody else. What about Might I assist you with something there, Mr. Greentail? Rukia has not uh, struck you as the sword to ever be at a loss for words, and yet... Um, uh, no, um, I, I was just uh, trying to see if maybe <laughs> Pamitha gives a laugh, not in an unkind way. At ease, Rookie, darling. You should know I have no immediate plans to snatch you up and eat you for a snack, if that was your concern. Um, no, it's, it's just, I mean, I... Uh, what is it then, huh? Look, um, I got this really stupid question here, uh, been bugging me, is, is all. It's just us curs, we don't have many run-ins with you folks, and so... What is your, uh, what is your really stupid question, Rookie darling? Okay, 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 here goes, here goes. Um, how come, how come... How come you always wear that hat? Pamitha remains silent for a time, then... This helm was given to me by my blood sister on the night of my first kill. Slowly uh, she reaches for the helm. Rookie Greentail, this helm, it means nothing to me now. I want you to keep it. Wha what? <laughs> then Pamitha begins to laugh again. Come on, Rookie darling. You've got to stop being so serious around me all the time. I don't bite. Besides, we seem to make a decent enough team out there, I think. You're pretty quick. <laughs> Rookie laughs, rather sheepishly. Alright, alright. Uh, you got me pretty good there, sister. So, uh, that stuff you said about the hat then... Total nonsense, mostly. I just happen to like it. 
So you're saying I can keep it? If I get uh, if I get out of here before you, Mr. Greentail, it's all yours. It's a deal. He skitters off before Pamitha can respond. She simply uh, shrugs at you and smiles. Well, sadly, my plan is that Rookie gets out next. And Pamitha after that, maybe. Or Sir Gilman, I'm not sure yet. Let's continue our journey.